Hey. Good morning. They're chasing squirrels. Uh, excuse me. Okay. They're doing more than chasing squirrels. Sorry, kids. <laughs> anyway. Hi. Welcome back to my channel. How's it going? I just woke up about 30 whole minutes ago. Got myself some coffee. And I'm getting ready to help my mom and my stepdad pull some bushes out of the ground. There's just a couple bushes in the back corner there that mom really doesn't care for. She wants hydrangeas. So I think we're gonna replace those with some hydrangeas next spring. A lot of weeds grow back there and it's just really hard to get to. So one of them being a rose bush that Japanese beetles just love and won't stop attacking. But yeah, so we're gonna do that. And I'm not sure what else, to be honest. This is gonna be a vlog video. I have some things that I wanna show you guys that people sent me. One is this Eve Age wall hanger, and it's perfect for propagations. I'm gonna insert a picture of what it looks like with propagations in it from their website. But then here's a picture of me, or here's a video of me unboxing it. <laughs> I actually gifted this to a friend because she's super into plants and I thought that she would love it. So um, I don't have it personally anymore. I gifted it to her, but it's so cute. It would be so cute for propagation plants or like if you wanted a wall with just like pothos in it because pothos we all know do pretty well in water yeah their roots are not that substantial you're not going to get a gigantic plant but they live for a long time in just water and you have to keep on refilling those test tubes up quite often but if that's all you have like in your office or something i think it'd be a cute like wall piece statement anyway i thought it was really cute Eve Age actually sent it to me as a gift, so I really appreciate it. I'm gonna have the Walmart link in the description below because you can actually purchase this from Walmart. And I also have a code for you guys. I'm gonna put it on the screen right here. You can get 15% off if you use my code, so why not? You're welcome. Okay, then I got this planter. Actually, I think I'm gonna go get it and unbox it. I took it out of the packaging but I didn't like unwrap it and actually look at it. And I kind of want to do that. I think I'm going to use this downstairs. This is the Ray Galax Smart Cube Planter. Yeah, so Ray Galax Cube Green Smart Planter. That's what it's called. I'm going to leave a link in the description below. But this thing has so many features. It's kind of mind blowing actually, everything it does. Okay, here, I have the list here. Um, it has an LED grow light attached to it, so it's like hanging over, up over it, or it could be like in the back of it, depending on how big your plant is, which I think I, is really cool. I think it could like go over it, or you could stand it up like this, so that the plant is getting light from this angle, and then the plant could get as big as it wants. Um, that's a pretty cool feature. I think it's adjustable. Self-watering system, so it's probably really great for anything like hydroponics. You could probably do LECA in it, um, but soil too, and it, and it just self-waters, which I'm interested to see how it self-waters with soil. Um, it's got a built-in Bluetooth speaker. What? This would make a good gift too, actually. A humidifier, a clock, an alarm, and it says and more so let's see the and more well i'll go get it let me just go get it hold on okay yeah i'm not gifting this to anybody i'm gonna keep this for myself so this is it right here and it's small it's a small planter so nothing too big can go in here but here's all the features that it has so built-in speakers air purifier humidifier um planter desk lamp if you don't care to use it as a planter Alarm clock, temperature control, oxygen control, and a clock. I'm a little shook. Oh, and then it says, like, because the, the packaging is, like, all biodegradable and reusable, I guess. And it says, don't discard it. This box can be used as a desk organizer. So don't discard the box. Use it as a desk organizer. I'm trying to get the top off here. Okay. I like how they have, like some little scenario photos here cute 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 look at that 
but it is a desk organizer. It has like a world map, 2022 calendar here. Look at that. It's kind of cute for like your office. This would make a really good gift. But again, I'm not gifting it. Okay, so we have some like little instruction manuals here. Um, oh, and then it's got a QR code that you can scan and go follow them and all the things. If you want to pause the screen, scan it. Okay. All right, there's some instructions here, which I will read later. I just kind of want to show this to you. I haven't taken out of here yet. Okay, the this is very lightweight. Obviously heavier with a planter in it. Look at how sleek this design is. This is a planter. Oh, it has a little water gauge here. I'm sure that's what that is. This is where you um, plug it in. So that's, what is that, USB-C, I think? I'm assuming the parts are in here, yeah. Oh. Oh, see? Okay, so this is the grow light. So it comes up. Oh, it, oh, it goes pretty high. Okay, that's as high as it goes. So I'd say maybe a foot. And like I said, you can have it up this way so the plant can just keep growing higher or you can face it downward, which is nice. I like that option that it does that. And I think the Bluetooth speaker is in the grow light. Maybe. Um, it comes with a charging cord, which is also just an iPhone charger, really. And then two little funnels. I don't know what those are for. I guess if I read the instructions, I would know. Um, okay. All right. So this is the planter. Not so, not that big. You'll probably have to eventually, well, obviously, you'll have to swap out your plant for a bigger planter once it gets too big. But I would say like maybe this would be really good for like a cactus garden because cactus are slower growers than, you know, more aeroids. Hey guys, shush it. I'm doing a video. Yeah, so it has a wicking cord here, which you'd simply, I don't lose anything. You'd probably string through that hole there and then it would sit in the water and it would, through capillary action, um, water your plants, which is nice. This is a, this is a pretty cool design. Um, let's see what else it says here. I'm going to see what these other pieces are for just for myself. And you can come along with me on this journey we're taking together. So that's also the water for the humidifier. So it kind of like works double, which is interesting. Oh, no, there's speakers in the bottom. Okay. I really want to like plug this or turn this on. I guess I'd have to plug it in to turn it on. I should just read the instructions, Nicole. Okay, but wait. <laughs> One of the instructions is to take out the absorbent tampon. Is this the tampon? <laughs> I'm very confused by that verbiage, but okie dokie. Yeah, that's what they're calling it. Cool. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Shut up, Prime. I think I need to plug this in in order to be able to use it. I'm going to end up putting this in another video of it in use because I'm definitely going to use it downstairs. So, yeah. I have a bunch of cactus over there for the summer. Uh, it's a little blown out because it's very sunny today. I always pick the sunniest days to record. I don't know why. Um, so I'm going to repot one of those in the fall into this container and I'll definitely show this in another video so you guys can see it like in use. But this is a great gift to give someone. It's just, it's so like different and unique and I don't know. I just think it's really cute. I don't think that it would be great to use like for all of your plants obviously because like I said the the planter basin is so small that this is not going to hold a larger aeroid it's just not so 
that's my opinion on that, but I'm really excited to use it for one of my cacti. Oh, I'll put a link for this um, cube down below. I don't think I have a code. I don't, I don't have a code, but I'm gonna put the link below so you can, let me see what, how much it is. It's an Amazon link. It's 35 bucks, originally 40. It's marked down right now for $34.99, depending on when you're watching this, which this is gonna go up Friday, July 15th. So yeah, okay. All right, I'm gonna finish my coffee and then we're gonna dig in some dirt. I just finished some breakfast. Is this out all the way? Oh, jeez, I'm zoomed in the whole time. Um, cinnamon mini waffles with uh, Applegate chicken and maple sausage. Chef's kiss. I don't buy bottled water. My mom and stepdad do. And I just drink it. <laughs> I don't see a point in spending money on bottled water when the water in Illinois is pretty purified and clean. You could just put it through like a Brita, which I also don't have. Anyway, I ramble a lot, wow. Um, I also wanted to say really quickly, thank you all for all of your sweet comments on my last video about mental health. I really appreciate it. Everyone that reached out separately, I got quite a few DMs from some of you guys and it was just really nice it was nice to read other people's experiences um, some with better help some with you know traditional in-person therapy and it's um, it's reassuring just to know that like y'all are great you know and I could pretty much talk about anything on this channel and um, not get heat for it I guess I I I'm I'm a woman of few words, but I really appreciate it. Thank you so much, guys, because I got great feedback from that video. Anywho. <sighs> I didn't have a video last week because I could not bring myself to film. <laughs> I had a lot of editing to do, and I had uh, two weddings last week, and it's just been a, it's been a summer. Let's just say that. What was that? <laughs> something flew in my face i didn't post a video last friday my apologies but i'm trying to get some videos in the bank so that i can you know post every friday regularly i was ahead of schedule for a long time and then i wasn't okay is ted back yet not yet he's walking the trail it's taking forever <clears throat> Should we do a little plant update? Let me show you my plants, my cactus. All right, so here are my cactus, and I'm having some spider issues. There is a spider that, no joke, I don't know if you could see it. Well, you probably can't see it. I have to like wet the plants. Oh shit, hold on. I have to like wet them for you to see the cobwebs. Okay. Look at this. Look at these webs in here. Spider webs, cobwebs, whatever you want to call them. These spiders are building freaking condos in my plants. And like, not for nothing, like sorry to all you spider lovers out there, but I blow them out because I don't want to deal with like a bunch of spiders <laughs> in my cactus. I'm gonna have to repot some of these because I have a feeling I'm just gonna bring spiders in the house, but like there's this one big ass spider. I think it's a wolf spider. I don't know, but it's so big. And he just like, they do this overnight. Like I could blow those webs out and the next morning they'll be worse than they were. <sighs> but it's always like this little cluster of cactus. Maybe if I move the cactus around, maybe they'll It'll like confuse them and they'll stop. I'm, I'm not trying to kill the spiders. I'm just trying to get them to relocate. Like, sorry, but you're being evicted. You're not paying your rent and you need to get the fuck out. That's how I feel. Anyway, I have 
my um, I have an, uh, an elephant ear under there and then I also have my mame under there and it's starting to finally freaking grow a new leaf I'm not gonna go under there and grab it because again the spiders but <laughs> <laughs> it's there and it's getting a new leaf and I'm excited. Is my Hoya Lacanosa collection. I have a lot of Lacanosa and I absolutely love this specific type of Hoya. So I wanted to show you guys. Adam has a new video. Are you just watching? Are you watching everybody do? You good boy. Hang on, hang on. Tore out. Accidentally swing and hit your leg with that? Be careful. Both of them things. Yeah, they're in there. These will be easy to take out, babe, those two. Right here. Yeah, it's a root from this thing. Oh my god. From the rose bush. No. What? That's a line. <gasps> Oh shit. Oh no, 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 no. Power line. Uh oh. Uh -oh. There. Hmm. Gonna have what to, is that? I'm gonna have to Google it. Yeah, it's like the whole. Hmm. Huh. I am sweaty spaghetti right now. Um, so Ted was digging up that rose bush, and underneath it, there was like a power line. We think that it's cable because in the suburbs you don't have cables running above ground like you do in the city. So everything's underground, which is nice because it's not like an obstruction. But it is an obstruction when you're trying to dig out garden scape. So um, he's just treading lightly. He's going to be really careful. He didn't hit the wire, thank God. He just like dug and then pulled it up thinking it was a root and it was a line. So gotta be careful, but we're almost done over there. It's kind of fun to look at it now and see it's so empty. I like it. That'd be a cute little reading nook back there. Maybe instead of hydrangeas, I can convince them to put a little, a little reading nook back there. There's a lot of spiders though. Yeah, so we can't plant anything there sad i'm kind of happy about it though not gonna lie let me show you the result it's very clean it's very empty we just have to pull some more weeds probably be able to get that out but where that light is that's where that wire is so it shouldn't be that high up in the ground they have to replace this fence because it's falling apart down there and i think they're gonna do that in the spring and when they do, they'll probably reposition the wiring. So we'll see. But I think that this would be such a cute little reading nook. I don't know. I might convince her. Thanks, guys, for joining me in today's vlog. I think that I'm going to end it here. There's really not much more to do today. I have to get some more editing done. Um, but yeah, I'll keep you updated on what we decide to do with that little corner. Maybe some potted plants. Let me know in the comment section below what you would do with that area. I'm curious. I need ideas. All right, guys. Thanks so much. And uh, don't forget to check out the links in the description box below for some of those gifts if you want. All right. I'll see you next time.